Praise be Jesus Christ. We need to have an eternal perspective. For many of us, we're not going to celebrate Christmas like we planned to celebrate Christmas because of government restrictions and other things. But we need to remember, God never promised us that our life will unfold as we plan for it to unfold. God calls us on a wonderful adventure. Our life is meant to be a bit of an ordeal. You look at our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph, Mary and Joseph. Were they planning for Jesus' birth to take place in a far-off town, in a stable where there's no friends and family around? No. But they trusted God. As a matter of fact, I'm sure they were filled with, with joy because they had faith. They saw, wow, God is doing something powerful. He's doing something wonderful. Was it a struggle for them? Did they have times where they would have been wondering what is going on? I'm unsure. But they saw in different ways the hand of God as providence unfolded. And they recognized that, wow, God is doing something amazing even though things aren't going according to our plans. When the shepherds visited, when the magi visited, when they saw the star, and so on, they recognized God is still God. God's in charge, and he's doing something good. Now, my hope is to get to heaven. I hope even to skip purgatory. The way I'm going is probably not going to happen, so please pray for me. Pray for my conversion. Pray for a deeper illumination of conscience in my life, especially that I can see the consequence of all my sins and I can be grieved uh, over them and that I can truly repent and that the Lord can purify my heart so that I can be super holy and go straight to heaven when I die. That's my dream. So that you and I can have a drink together at the eternal banquet. Now, Christmas uh, uh, banquets with family, friends, wonderful food and drink, music, laughter, beautiful decorations, wonderful. Well, we could say heaven will be like that forever. Plus, there'll be surfing mixed in, probably good fishing in heaven. We get to go on wonderful adventures with our friends. Heaven is going to be wonderful beyond all telling. And this life is a preparation and God prepares us by, by throwing us curveballs, by testing us, by, by allowing us to have, have trials, to have struggles, uh, by allowing us to carry the cross. I want to read to you. I have to, I have to look this one up. This is from Hebrews. I think it's chapter 12. Let me see if I can find it. Hebrews chapter 12. This just came to me. Here it is. Check this out. Hebrews chapter 12. For the sake of of the joy that lay before him, Jesus endured the cross. He knew that there was a wonderful joy that lay before him, beyond the cross, at the resurrection. Joy not only for him, but for all of God's children. St. Paul says, for this momentary light affliction, is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to what is seen, but to what is unseen. For what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. St. Paul also says in Romans chapter 8, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. I hope you have a faith filled, glorious Christmas, filled with the presence of God, the presence of Jesus, the Savior, that he comes into your heart in a whole new way and that he rem reminds you that you are made to be with him forever in heaven in the Father's house. Merry Christmas and Viva Cristo Rey.